start off uh, Charizard Gengar. This matchup, uh, there's so many matchups in this game. I still don't know anything <laughs> about or how like the neutral between the characters need to be played. Um, I think Charizard hates Charizard hates zoners. Gengar is kind of a zoner, but I mean he has aspects where he can do it. Yeah, but it's not always the best. But against Charizard, it's just going to be a matter of figuring out how to punish things that are unsafe yeah, on shield. Like and if Bellsworth can capitalize. And so we'll see. Um, yep, just barely misspaced it. Oh, nice. But the, yeah, being able to cancel into hey. his seismic toss is really good for being able to catch people that are trying to counterattack that on wake up. Yep. So you either have to, have to dash away from it or uh, release your counterattack sooner. Too far, but he probably could have gotten off uh, a belly bump. And nope, wow. not yet. So much pressure against the wall. Ooh, jumps over the flamethrower. There we go. Sonish coming out. And oh, oh, there it is. Gonna close out that round. Tail slap to Cyber Toss. That's another thing is I think I think Hypnosis is actually fast enough to invuln through the initial tail hit and then grab after the hitbox is done. Is it? I think it might be. Hmm. So that could be something that Th that should be he, he does. Uh, come off the ground. He would incorporate. Uh, Astonish catching him up pretty high. I actually wasn't sure that would reach. And uh, uh, throws out the random crap. Maybe trying to punish the um, homing attack. Let's but see. Skynerd with the big damage on a punish with the jump. And nice counter there from uh, Belzer. Going straight for the burst. And here's where things get dangerous. Well, both characters in burst, so we'll see what kind of pressure uh, they can both put out. I think we'll see some decent amount of lasers from uh, uh, build I guess more build shadow balls. Has, has to play uh, safe here gonna punish. if that's going to hit. Yeah. yeah. Just barely That was caught. definitely not, like, I don't feel like the shadow balls were a good option. Even when before, he was floating, and he could have easily wow. bursted him. That did almost nothing for Nair because he had synergy. this energy. Yeah. Jirachi buff, really good. Ooh, laser beam. Just missed, just missed the laser. Really missed him. And he's going to have to throw, no. Oh. It didn't have time to throw out the burst. Gets the grab on wake up. And spells over the counter. Uh, I'm surprised we're not seeing oh. any kind of, oh, oh. Koch is the vulnerable frames. I'm actually surprised we're not seeing uh, eight wide come out more in this matchup. Uh, oh yeah, that would be a lot better. Cause uh, 8Y is the sludge bomb? No, it's, it's the uh, twister okay, that Gengar exactly. does, where he kind of becomes invincible for a second. Yeah, that would help out a lot in this matchup. Especially, uh, I feel like Charizard uh, hates anti-airs, and that being an anti-air. Yeah, so. I mean, obviously, character with wings <laughs> implies gonna not like anti-airs. I, I, had, I had no idea, really. That was By the way, the pseudo for po Oaken. What's that? The pseudo for Poken, please. <laughs> Best starter next gen? No. <laughs> Maybe. There, oh, shield stun kept him from being able to hmm. grab him. Let's see how he follows it up. The shield's getting low. Ooh, clash. That was a strange clash. <laughs> there we go. It's just a matter of figuring out the invulnerability oh, frames that got he's got on him. Ooh, little punish. Not too much of a punish, though. Okay. Well, I was gonna recover back some of that health that he used for the Flare Blitz. There we go. Ooh, I actually wasn't expecting him to use the counter from the, uh... The so much not damage. as much. He got the attack, yep. the attack down. And I guess the combo counter was too high. Oop. Gonna pop the floor. Yeah, is that gonna give him the burst? Not, not yet. Yeah. I think people overestimate how much it actually Ooh, gives. I, I I thought it was like 40%. I, I didn't gonna know have to be careful oh. here. Oh. 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 Just raw grabs him though. Not doing nearly as much as normally would. Uh, the time is getting really low here. <laughs> I just never realized it. Yep, that's going to end it. Oh, I think that oh. hit is actually what gave him that health lead. So close there. It was what, 25 to 30 I believe? Yeah, 25 to 30. So I think if uh, Bellsworth had just stayed in shield and avoided eating that crit, he would have been perfectly fine with the health yep. lead. 
Especially, may have been especially a small if Gengar having such low HP. Uh, yeah, it may have been a small lead, but he would have had a lead. Yeah. There goes the burst. We'll see what Felsworth manages to make of this burst. This punish. Oops. At least I started recording. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, Ooh, there we go. Anti -ace. And Ooh, a crit punish. And 300 plus. Felsworth yeah. was almost at full health at the start. And uh, Skynard popping the burst. It's gonna do. Yeah, this is looking a little so rough. Uh, oh, this is gonna miss. Oh, shielded. Shielded. Uh, it's gonna uh, punish the grab. Yeah, I don't gonna think it's close enough to get the grab off. Yeah, it's gonna push him away. Maybe if the spacing was a and little closer, yep. he would have been fine, and that'll close right. out game two. Skynard moving on. Right. Let's see, Pokemon sponsors the one I want.